Right, this is the ulna bone, and of course we're looking at the proximal end of the ulna. And right away I can see that the ulna looks a little bit like a pipe wrench. So this part that looks like a pipe wrench is referred to as the trochlear notch. And that trochlear notch is where the ulna articulates with the humerus. Let's take a closer look at that, and we'll see what I'm talking about. And so let's zoom out just real quick. And you can see how that trochlear notch is associated with the trochlea of the humerus. All right, let's get out from here and take another look at a few things. On this side, we see another notch. That is called the radial notch. And the radial notch, as I mentioned in a previous YouTube, is where the head of the radius articulates. This is the coronoid process, and the coronoid process is going to be articulating with a notch on the humerus that I'll show you in a minute, and that is, of course, the coronoid fossa. And then down here is the ulnar tuberosity. The ulnar tuberosity is the region of insertion of the brachialis muscle. So between that and the coronoid process, we have point of insertion for the brachialis muscle. The alecanon process is the back part of the ulna, and this is the point of insertion for the triceps brachii muscle, also a smaller muscle, which we refer to as the anconius muscle. Incidentally, ulna and anconius and alecanon all mean elbow. All right, I want to show you one more image, this articulation real quick. We can see where the coronoid process of the ulna articulates with the coronoid fossa of the humerus. And let's just make that demonstration right there. All right, there you have it. Now, we go to the distal end of the ulna. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. We find that this is the region of the head, and associated with the head is a tiny little um, process, which we refer to as the styloid process. This actually helps to frame the wrist. Now this is going to be akin to the styloid process that we find on the radius. Let's just swap them out. So there's the radius right there. This is the distal end of the radius. And right here is the styloid process of the radius. Unlike the ulna, the styloid process, the radius, has a point of insertion for a muscle. And that point of insertion uh, is actually uh, for the muscle called the brachioradialis muscle. All right, so that should about do it.